Hey everybody, this is Jack Acid from ApexHead.com bringing you a beta impressions video for F1 Online The Game, a web-based racing game that was recently released for beta uh, by Codemasters, the same company that did uh, F1 2010 and 11 and soon to be F1 2012 this September. So I signed up for this, uh, I believe in January, and was very anxious to play it. Had no idea what to expect. The premise of it is that you're basically in control of an F1 team, and by control I mean research and development, upgrades, uh, upgrading your headquarters, hiring extra people to get tasks and uh, development done quicker, and so forth. And you can see here that we have to go through a little tutorial, uh, test drive, so I'll go ahead and scroll through all the teams just so we can have a quick look at them. I'm going to be racing at Yas Marina, it appears. Uh, but this is basically something that I was direly hoping or wished that was part of the console slash PC releases of the F1 series by Codemasters. I always thought it would be really, really cool to have a franchise mode. And uh, it sounds like this could be the... Uh, you know, potential start of that type of development. I would have a hard time believing that they would have something produced to be putting into 2012, but uh, if this went well, I think that they would consider adding it to a future release, possibly 2013. So here we are at the start of the test drive. Let's see what we have to do here. So we accelerate using the left mouse button. And so I'll go ahead and hold this down and see what happens here. Okay, and yeah, you see you, ooh, collision with the wall. Uh, you basically just move your cursor around to uh, steer. Uh, it takes a little bit of finesse and obviously something that I'm not used to, so this will be ugly, uh, but you can kind of see how it works. So I'm not sure if there's actually any damage in this. This could just be part of the tutorial, but I'm guessing that possibly not. Um, my impressions of the gameplay videos that I was able to watch before I was actually get, able to get in here uh, made it appear that you just kind of get through the race as best you can. And so here you can see we have a brake assist and it looks like it's automated for now but I'm sure that that will at some point come off. So we'll just go ahead and go through, back through the checkpoints and you can see the little indicator in the top, the uh, exclamation point. Uh, that, oop, geez. Uh, that's probably an indicator that you have a corner coming up. Okay, so reset to track. We can either hit backspace or R. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it looks like it backs us up a step here. And hopefully I can keep it on track. I'm learning how it works. Basically, if you let go of the acceleration button, you coast. So you have forward momentum, which is kind of interesting. So it's I could actually see there being potential for truly learning these tracks but I've got a feeling on uh, race conditions it's going to be a lot more hectic. Okay, so slow down there. So yeah, that red exclamation point at the top is definitely a brake indicator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I've, I'm aware of that. I'm learning that very quickly. Thanks. I do recognize this track. This is the uh, hairpin right before a very, very long straight. Ah, here we go. we got curves now. So if we hold the space bar, we can use curves and you can see the curves indicator in the bottom there it's yellow and being drained and here's DRS so if we hit D in the DRS activation zone which you can see highlights in uh, green at the bottom now we're using both DRS and curves and cooking along pretty good there yeah I hit the wall going 200 I'm fine uh, I'm not even at the end of the straight yet and so now we're being told that the DRS automatically deactivates as soon as you get through the zone. So now skipping ahead to the end of the tutorial and you can see that we're told by our engineer that we have completed all of our test drive objectives. So at the end of the tutorial you're actually given two options. You can either create your own team or you can go into the official Formula One module which actually I have not had an opportunity to play with so I'll be focusing uh, almost exclusively on create your own team for this video and you can see that I was looking at my settings here and unfortunately I set my view to full screen mode and it killed my game capture so unfortunately I do not have any video of creating the team but basically you create your own liveries your own color schemes and I'll show you a little bit more of that later uh, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead in the video to the end of my first race and races are the only way that I'm aware of so far that you actually make money 
and as soon as we get to the end of this you can see that I'm 22 of 23 cars so not a very good race at all uh, this is online with other players uh, but at least you'll be have an opportunity to see kind of what happens at the end of these races and see how the race results help you in terms of developing your team and your headquarters and your research department and so forth so there you can see I finished 22nd woohoo and so at the end of the races you get a little podium sequence here and I have a feeling it'll be quite some time before I see myself as part of this little cinematic so let's see what happens at the end of the race here. I've got a little race reward screen and you can see where I finished and I missed my target. I was supposed to finish I believe 21st. Looks like we earned some cash which I'm sure is pretty meager compared to what it would be if I would have actually done better. And experience points and only 70 experience points and again I suspect that goes up dramatically if I hit my race target which is basically kind of what we're being told here. So that's the uh, end of the race sequence now let's go back to our race hub which is basically where you go in between races to manage things oh and missed that message we'll get back to it in just a second so you can see here we get 500 xp for completing our objective which in this case was to complete our first race and if i'm not mistaken i believe that i just unlocked the headquarters so yes now we're being told hey you have a headquarters now so let's walk through this real quick to see uh, what we can do in here to start. And my understanding of learning about the game is that the headquarters is quite important. It's basically how you develop your car and car components. So you can see our first uh, tutorial here is pointing out car development. And we have a components button. And so let's see what happens when we click on that. And you can see at the top here, uh, let's take a look at this, so blueprints. And so in order to uh, create components we need blueprints for those components and so in order to produce components we need cash staff and time interesting so those are the three elements that we need to focus on and you can see there's some little icons there and so now we're going back to take a look at the components and it says here that I can go ahead and upgrade my engine and you can see down in the bottom right corner what it takes to do it in this case the cost of only 10 people and no money and five minutes so I click on that and oh, there's an option to hurry it and I'm not exactly sure what that is apparently you can rush jobs and you can see as a result of uh, upgrading our engine we get 50 XP and now we can go back to the garage so now that we've developed that engine component we have to okay so we have developed it and now we click on that and you can see over on the right hand side there is an engine upgrade component and you can see that I can go ahead and fit that part and it will upgrade my power incrementally and when you do that you can see that it upgrades your CPI, your car performance index basically there's a number of classes and the objective is to continue to build your car to higher classes which means you can compete in well I'm sure you just get more rewards for races and that's basically what it's telling us here so let's go ahead and take a look at our objectives and see what we have next on the docket and you can see here that uh, we need to go test that engine and the requirement for that is to do complete a race and if we do so we will get fifty thousand dollars and four hundred XP and so skipping ahead to the end of that race uh, which I did not show here uh, at the end of that we are introduced to Andy who is head of research and he's encouraging us to go back to the headquarters to learn more about it so let's see what Andy has to say so in order to develop blueprints we need to develop a research department so let's find out what's involved in that okay so headquartered departments we have a research department a production department commercial and race crew so there are four components for the headquarters and my guess is that we will be developing one of the four here now so let's see what happens you can see the little almost like a little Sims or Sim City cinematic thing happening behind the menu here and find out what each one of these does in order to help us so research department let's see what uh, this does alright so we get building unlocks and we're trying to develop a primary R&D building and so we'll go ahead and click continue 
and team staff. So apparently if you have, the more staff you have, the faster that you can get jobs done. It's kind of a benchmark for how large your uh, team is. So we've gone ahead to develop the primary R&D building and we've developed it. And so now we have new blueprints. And it looks like we get 10 new staff members. We're given a 50 XP reward and it makes a comment here about uh, extending your HQ tech trees for new perks. And I don't know much about perks yet. So now we're being told to develop the rear wing. Let's click on that. And a little more updates. Now you can see in the bottom right corner, you can see that there's money involved, people involved, and time involved. And you can see that I do have one unlock for the front wing. Let's see if I have enough uh, money to do it. They want us to develop the front wing and the uh, rear wing. So I'm going to click on that. It looks like I don't have enough money. Uh, just taking a look at some of these other components here. And you can see that uh, most of these are locked. So these are our only options. Here's the rear wing, and you can see I don't have enough money for this either. So that means that, hey, guess what? We're probably going to have to go back and race. So, yeah, just double checking to make sure. So, yeah, we're going to have to go back and race and get more money. It looks like I've got just under $82,000, and each one of these components costs ninety grand each. Uh, but the good news is, is that the races, at least the initial races that I've been doing, uh, pay about 50, 53 grand, something like that. Let's take a quick look at the shop. And I'm not going to spend too much time here, but let's see, we've got items. And we've got a few categories over here. Looks like if you click on these, you get some information over on the right hand side. And we've got boosts. and it looks like we have a convenience category as well this is kind of interesting so once you have some money and resources I believe that Codemasters is giving out free money or Codemasters points for beta so that you can play with this but uh, I'm not I don't have that yet and I'm not sure when I'll get that so just kinda of taking a quick look to see how this works exit out and that takes us back here to our HQ I'm gonna go back to the race hub and let's take a look at our objectives. We now have two new ob or one more objective. Um, and so of course they are oh so this one actually has a handful of requirements. And those requirements are centered around the development of the rear wing and the front wing. So I'm definitely going to have to do more races before I can do that. Let me just double check something here. Bear with me. And let's take one more quick look at this. There's my upgraded engine. And yeah, so... Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and get more money. Just double checking, making sure there's nothing I missed uh, before I have to go back out and race. So we'll go ahead and do that. And best I can tell within the create your own team mode, the tracks are fictional, or maybe they're not fictional, I'm not totally sure on that. Uh, there's tracks in Russia, South Africa, and so forth. So we'll go ahead and skip to near the end of this race, and you did not see, but my objective was to finish, I believe, 17th. So this will be the first race that I'll complete where I have uh, actually met my objective. So. I trust that that's going to only enhance uh, the money that I get and maybe get some bonuses or we'll have to wait and see. This will be my first time doing so. So you can see that I finish here P10. So, so far this is pretty interesting. Like I said, I would like to see this uh, included in the console PC release versions of the game. I'd like to see some kind of franchise mode. I think that would be a really, really cool add-on. I think it would make it a more complete game. So let's see what kind of uh, perks we get, uh, or I shouldn't use that language since perk is an actual game term. Let's see what kind of uh, benefit we get for completing our objective once we get through the podium screen here. And you can see in the bottom left corner, by completing my race target, wow, 37000 almost 38000 extra dollars for doing that. So uh, definitely pays, oops, I didn't mean to do that definitely pays to hit your target if you can. Also got 241 
uh, experience points. And here we have one of our objectives was complete by hitting our race target. So like I said, that was the first time I was able to do that. So an extra 400 XP for that. And we still have to be concerned with the uh, objective of developing our rear wing and front wing. So because I now have 135,000, I'm going to go ahead and develop, uh, let's go ahead and develop the front wing. And again, there is a real time element to this. So there's five minutes of real time before that's finished. And I don't have enough money to develop the back wing yet. Get 50 XP for starting that. And so I'll probably have to do one more race to get the rear wing. Just double check the price. Yeah, 90,000, I'm at 45.5K. So you can kind of understand how this piece goes. And so before I leave you guys here, we'll go ahead and take a look at these things that I didn't get a chance to show you before. You can see in the upper right corner, that's our team XP and driver level. I'm currently level three. And down here at the bottom, we have liveries. And you can see I've got a number of patterns here, most of which are locked. And there's also this color palette, and this allows you to change the color schemes of your team. And if I click on them, it gives you a little bit of a preview. And you can see down, uh, some of these are pretty costly. Down here it shows you this one's only 240 bucks to change to that, but a lot of them are pretty expensive, some of them over $1 million. Another little interesting thing, you can swap around these colors up here. So that's kind of nice. You can play with that a bit. And, and just kind of playing with this. That's kind of cool. And also there's a decals button here and you can see that this allows you to place decals on the car and you can see that there's little indicators that point to different parts of the car and you can see I've unlocked three so if I leave it there I can change that click on the next one throw one there uh, obviously just kind of plugging these in to show you and then also the helmet uh, zooms in here you can actually see your team name on the side of the uh, cockpit which is kind of cool and you can see there's different patterns that go along the top sort of play with that and as you can see a number of these are also locked or cost uh, Codemasters points so there we have it our first little run through of F1 online the game hopefully you guys have uh, learned something by watching this again all the uh, official game information and sign up information is listed in the description I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and I'll hope to see you guys again soon thanks again